Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys a new ROM by Mobile Sensei. Uh, it was featured today on DroidLife.com, uh, so mad props to Mobile Sensei for that. Uh, it's also been featured on DroidModerX.com for the past couple of days. I uh, just thought I'd throw that in there. Anyhow, the name of the ROM is ICX, and it's for uh, the Droid X phone. Uh, this is our first taste of ice cream sandwich for the Droid X. It's based on the uh, 4.5.605 uh, version of Gingerbread for the Motorola Droid X. And, of course, to install it, you need to already be on 4.5.605. I have another video tutorial on how to get there if you're not already there. Uh, one way is to SPF the phone, except over the air, and then root via uh, my tutorial that shows you how to do the one-click route for all Motorola devices, or uh, if you're on 602 and you're rooted, uh, you can just boot into Droid 2 Bootstrapper and flash Mobile Sensei's uh, 4.5.605 pre-rooted DODEX file. I also have, like I said, the tutorial on, uh, my, on my channel for that as well. So let's go ahead and jump into how to install uh, ICX for the Droid X, and... Uh, then we'll have a quick review after the install. So what you want to do is head to the link in the description and download the ROM. Uh, once you have that downloaded, uh, go ahead and open up Droid 2 Bootstrap from the phone. And Bootstrap Recovery. So obviously you must be rooted and you must have Droid 2 Bootstrap installed. Uh, so Bootstrap Recovery, click OK, Reboot Recovery. And this one installs like uh, most other ROMs, so if you already know how to install the ROM, you can skip a few minutes to my quick review. And of course, guys, Mobile Sensei is the developer who is a themer extraordinaire. This ROM was released two days ago and already has four awesome themes for it, which you can find at the link in that description. He's always updating us with new cool themes. That's why I like Mobile Sensei. Anyhow, uh, the first thing you want to do is wipe data factory reset. You're scrolling through the menu with the up and down volume. You're selecting with the camera button and going back with the back button. So we're going to select wipe data factory reset. And then we're going to go down to yes, delete all user data. I'm not going to do that now because I already have it installed, so I'm going to go back. And then you're going to go to wipe cache partition, select that, go down to yes, wipe cache, and select that as well. I'm going to go back, and then go to advanced, and wipe Dalvik, and select yes, wipe Dalvik, and I'm going to go back. And once all of that's completed, you're going to go back to the main menu here, and go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then you'll scroll down to the download folder if you downloaded it directly to your phone. That's where it will always save as the download folder. So click on that, and then you're looking for icx.zip. So you'll open that, and then yes, install icx.zip. Now this one did take about five minutes to install. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to go back and then reboot the phone. Once it's finished installing, you'll get a message, install complete. Just uh, go ahead and select reboot system now after that. Uh, the first boot up did take several minutes. It took about five or six minutes, so don't panic if it doesn't boot right up. Uh, the only time you need to worry is if it cycles through the boot animation again. That would be a boot loop. In that case, you would need to pull your battery, uh, boot into stock recovery by holding the home and the power button, and then select... Uh, the stock recovery menu by pressing these two buttons and then you would wipe data factory reset. As long as you follow my instructions you won't have any issues. Uh, you see here the ICX custom boot animation by Mobile Sensei. Okay and then uh, you have a themed lock screen here. Uh, to get the agile lock screen whenever you boot up you'll have to go into uh, the app drawer there and click on the Agile Lock, stop and start it, and, well, 
There it is. Okay, so this is the Agile Lock screen that's included with this ROM. Uh, I like it a whole lot. It gives you some options from the screen. You can go to your camera, the web, email, or the phone directly from your lock screen. If you want to go straight to the home screen, just grab the circle and pull up. Okay, you'll notice down here at the bottom that we have a new launcher. Uh, this is the ice cream sandwich launcher. You've got your app drawer. Uh, you've got your, your phone there in the web. And then you have this new feature here. This is the ice cream uh, sandwich launcher apps. And a few of these work and a few of these don't. This is still in early stages of development. So like your web works, your market works. SMS does not work. Email does not work. Calendar works. Gallery music do not work. Maps work. And I can't remember. Yeah, settings doesn't work either. Okay, so, but you'll see how fluid it is. Um, and it is fully themed. You'll see up at the top here, uh, it's running like a blue theme. There's several other themes that you can find at the link in the description. Um, if you pull up the app drawer, there's a couple of things that he's included with it. You know, the Agile Lock is included with it. Um, and then DrawCap is there if you want to take screenshots of your phone. That's a nice little application to have. Moto Torch LED is there, which is really nice as well. Um, let's see, everything is themed out, like as far as the framework is concerned, like even in the browser, uh, even your keyboard is themed. And if you over scroll up and down, you see the little blue frame that comes to the bottom there, which is a pretty neat little feature. Um, other than that, it is fully deodexed for theming, and also that speeds it up a little bit. And I really do like this overall. Uh, you also have spare parts here, which is good for battery information, and also you can change like the speed of your uh, transition animations, like if you really want to make it look fast. Um, you can change font size and turn on and off your haptic feedback. Um, Lots of goodies here. Guys, I really like this ROM. Uh, go to the link in the description to check this out. Also, head on over to DroidModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Droid phone. Uh, we cover the Droid X and also the Bionic. Looking to get some more phones in the fall. So go ahead and bookmark that site. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E, not a 3. And also subscribe to this channel. Thanks. Intoxicated world.